These animated classics may feature Disney-esque characters and animation, and many even have catchy musical numbers. There's only one peculiar thing that bothers me. But they weren't actually created by the House of Mouse. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 animated movies you mistakenly thought were Disney films. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be focusing on animated features that bear many hallmarks of Disney films, but which were actually produced by other studios. I guess I better go find Maggie and get you unshrunk. Number 10. The Swan Princess. I swear that I'll be true. I swear that I'll be true. Based on the ballet Swan Lake, this movie tells the story of a beautiful princess who is placed under a curse and forced to live as a swan during the daylight hours. And that's how it works every night. There's a handsome prince coming to her rescue, and of course an evil sorcerer who has motives of his own. If I marry the only heir to the throne, we'll rule your father's kingdom together. We can't blame you for thinking this is a Disney flick considering the familiar structure. However, it's actually from former Disney animation director Richard Rich, who had clearly learned a thing or two from his former company when he brought his experience over to New Line Cinema. <laughs> Number 9. Thumbelina After the rain goes, there are rainbows. This may be the first Don Bluth movie on this list, but it certainly won't be the last. Bluth started off working for Disney as an animator, before leaving to form his own company Don Bluth Productions. Wanting to bring back the style of animation Disney had employed in its golden years. This 1994 film is based on the Hans Christian Andersen story of a pint-sized heroine with a beautiful singing voice, who spends most of her time with animals, until she meets a prince her own size who finally helps her achieve her dreams. With me and I will be your we really don't blame you for mistaking this for a Disney flick. Several members of the cast, like Jodie Benson, voiced iconic characters for the Mouse House. Wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. Number 8. The Prince of Egypt Faster! Jeffrey Katzenberg originally wanted to make an animated adaptation of the biblical film The Ten Commandments when he was working for Disney during the animation renaissance of the late 80s and early 90s but it never quite got off the ground. He eventually made it happen through DreamWorks, a company he co-founded after leaving Disney. You shall do my wonders. The result was this epic adaptation of the Book of Exodus, with celebrity voice acting from Val Kilmer, Ray Fiennes, Michelle Pfeiffer, and more, as well as a score by Hans Zimmer, songs by Stephen Schwartz, and some truly stellar animation that garnered the film considerable praise. Sometimes, it's good to wait to get things just right. When you believe, when you believe the hope is frail, it's hard to kill. It's hard to kill. Number 7. The Road to El Dorado One way to get that Disney feel in your movie is to hire the songwriting team behind one of Disney's biggest animated hits. That's exactly what DreamWorks did, when they brought Elton John and Tim Rice on board, who'd penned the songs and lyrics for The Lion King. The Road to El Dorado is a comedy adventure film about a pair of con artists who get mistaken for gods. Elton John also sang a good number of the tunes himself in a musical narration of sorts, which was a departure from the convention of having the characters sing the songs themselves. Changing legend into fact, we shall ride into history. Into truth, we shall surely gaze. Number 6. The Iron Giant While blending traditional animation with computer animation is a process frequently associated with Disney, an early award-winning employment of this was this Warner Brothers movie. Set in Cold War America, The Iron Giant is about a boy who befriends a robot who's fallen from space. This guy is Superman. 
Sure, he's famous now, but he started it off just like you. The titular character was created using CGI, whereas the town of Rockwell, Maine and its inhabitants were drawn the old-fashioned way. Even though the film received considerable critical praise upon its release, it initially bombed at the box office. It subsequently developed a cult following, though, which would make up for its initial failures and help turn it into a non-Disney animated classic. Superman. Number 5. Fern Gully The Last Rainforest Your spirits might be sinking. Even before Disney purchased 20th Century Fox in 2017, this film fits right in. The same year Robin Williams famously voiced the genie in Disney's Aladdin, he also provided the speaking and rapping voice of Batty in Fern Gully The Last Rainforest. Yo, the name is Batty. The logic is erratic. Potato in a jacket. This animated fantasy is about a logger who shrunk down to the size of small animals and learns a valuable ecological lesson. I will remember. It was actually an Australian-American co-production that had nothing to do with the House of Mouse. Despite its familiar animation style, cute animals, and catchy tunes. Number 4. All Dogs Go to Heaven Things have changed, Charlie, since you've been gone. This movie, produced by Don Bluth with Goldcrest Films and United Artists, tells the story of a murdered dog named Charlie B. Barkin, who's voiced by Burt Reynolds. You mean I'm… I'm… Stone cold, I'm afraid. Charlie escapes heaven to go after his former corrupt canine business partner and teams up with a human girl along the way. Stay with me. Anne-Marie! Huh? You asked my name, my name is Anne-Marie. In a bold move, its release was timed to compete directly with Disney's The Little Mermaid, hitting theaters on the same day. With a Disney-esque animation style and catchy songs to boot, it didn't do quite as well as Bluth had hoped in its initial box office numbers, but more than made up for it in home video sales. You can't keep a good dog down. No, no, you no, can't. no. You can't keep a good dog down. Number 3. The Land Before Time I'll be in your heart, little foot. Let your heart guide you. This beautifully animated story set in prehistoric times deals with issues of prejudice, environmentalism, and confronting fears. Three horns never play with long necks. And is told from the perspective of adorable little dinosaurs. My name's Littlefoot. Mine is Tucky. Produced as a partnership between Don Bluth and executive producer Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Kathleen Kennedy, and Frank Marshall, it proved that you don't need to be Disney to have an animated hit. The film spawned 13 direct-to-video sequels, a TV series, and merchandise. It also didn't need any songs, as this was the only installment in the Land Before Time series that was not a musical. Number 2. An American Tale Would you care for a wee drop of the creature? This classic was the first partnership between Don Bluth and Steven Spielberg. After its release, it became the highest-grossing non-Disney animated feature of the time. And we can see why. It tells the heartwarming tale of an immigrant mouse who gets separated from his family as they head to America and who longs to be reunited with them. Somewhere out there. The songs are all memorable, with some funny and others truly touching. The animation is excellent, and the community of mice and other animals that parallels the human world of New York City feels surprisingly real. This is America! Don't be afraid! Are you going to let those cuts push you around? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Courage of the heart is very rare. The stone has a power when it's there. I share my world with no Mixed up than I thought. Steel? It doesn't matter who's on the team. As long as the medicine gets through, stop being such a glory hound. Number one, Anastasia. No, no, nobody ever told me I had to prove I was the Grand Duchess. With truly rich animation, a solid story, and Oscar nominated songs, this Don Bluth film was both a critical and box office success, making Fox Animation a real contender for the Disney crown when it first hit theaters. Once upon a December. 
It also spawned a live stage musical version almost two decades after its release. Based on a revisionist history of the Russian Revolution and the rumored survival of Grand Duchess Anastasia, the film had Bluth bringing multi-dimensional characters to life. He did this with the help of top Hollywood talents, including Christopher Lloyd as the villainous mystical Rasputin. Esther, you're alive? Yeah, in a manner of speaking. Whoa, that fell right out there, sir. It incorporated, as Roger Ebert noted at the time, the three elements of a successful Disney animated film, action, romance, and music. And Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.